Hello, hello, and welcome. I'm Toffee, and I hope you are having a lovely day. Today, myself and other amazing Animal Crossing YouTubers, Kato, EJ, Alex, and Katie have all made Brewster-inspired builds in celebration of the news of Brewster, our beloved coffee pigeon. So if you do enjoy this video, please be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. But let's just jump on into the video. So, uh, funnily enough, um, I actually already have done a Brewster inspired build that, that uh, actually coming out in like two weeks time so the idea that I would have originally done for this collab has already been done and so I had to think of something else to do and that is attempting to recreate Brewster's Cafe from Wild World, the very first Animal Crossing game I ever played and now I'm trying to do this to the best of my memory, which um, isn't isn't very good. I'm getting I'm getting old, um, but I'm doing my best. And the scraps of pictures that I could find online for it, I couldn't find my DS. Therefore, I could not you know log on and see it for myself in all its glory. But yes, today I'm going to be attempting emphasis on the attempting to the best of my ability to recreate Brewster's Cafe from Wild World. So yes, I started by placing down a whole bunch of brick path. Obviously I'm doing this with what I have, so the codes aren't exact, please do excuse me. <laughs> um, but yes, so I'm currently making the little coffee bar area. I don't know that you'd really call it a bar, but you know, that's, that's what I'm going with. And then I have started to surround it with simple panels. This whole build is kind of going to be surrounded by simple panels. Well, you know, originally it was an indoor shop, but I wanted to make it outdoors. And I had to fight every urge in my being to make it overgrown and put flowers and weeds inside the paths inside. But I didn't. I was, I was good and I didn't do that. <laughs> So I have this, apart from this overgrown wood coat, okay? Okay? That's the only overgrown thing I used, I swear. Um, and I used that for the stage part. If you played Wild World, you'll know that the cafe was quite small in Wild World. I never played New Leaf, so I'm not entirely sure how it looked in there. But I remember it being really quite small in Wild World. You had your little coffee bar on the right and then directly on the left was a teeny tiny little stage where KK Slider would come and play on Saturdays. And yeah, that is what I'm creating. I'm creating his little stage out of whatever items I could muster to look similar. <laughs> um, so yes, I just feel so nostalgic about Brewster. I am happy that he is returning to the game. I really do hope that we'll get some new furniture pieces along with him and I know that everybody is super excited for him to come back, myself included. I am very happy to see the return of a character that was really one of the first characters that I met in Animal Crossing ever. <laughs> so yes, I'm excited and I'm excited to see what this coffee shop is going to look like to be honest because so far all of the buildings in New Horizons have been really quite immaculate and- oh. Oh. Wait, why is he so small? I didn't even- I don't know if I even realised. Oh my goodness. He looks so funny behind that small little stare. God. Oh gosh, I completely forgot that that happened. Oh my goodness. Did I even realize at the time? Please. <laughs> okay, composure. Composure. I... He just looks so small behind that <laughs> Oh, I hate it. I hate it. It's a great code, but I don't like it behind that particular desk. He looks so small. Bless him. Bless his heart, he's he's a small fry, he is. He's a small little bean and we love him regardless. And <laughs> in the time that I've been cackling to myself about um, Tiny Brewster, um, I have finished the decorating <laughs> and I 
planted some trees to kind of hide the edges of the simple panels and then I'm just kind of disguising the front part with some hedges and you know making a little pathway planting some flower beds and then this Brewster theme build is all complete um, included with Tiny Brewster. <laughs> That is my Brewster theme build. Um, I had to fight every urge in my body to not make it cluttered like I usually would and try to stick with kind of how I think it looked, how I remember it to look in um, Wild Wild. But uh, yes, I think it looks cute and it's very nostalgic and um, <laughs> Tiny Brewster is a vibe. <laughs> But yes, um, let me know in the comments below what was your first Animal Crossing game because I am interested and are you excited for Bruce's return? Don't forget to check out all of the other amazing Animal Crossing YouTubers and what builds that they have done. I'm really quite excited to see what they have done because I have not seen any of them yet. But yes, thank you all so so much for watching and as always, I will see all of you lovelies in the next one. Goodbye.